Hi guys, in today's video I wanted to go over this plastic tray slash miner. I kind of broke it down just so you guys could see and we're going to go over each and one of the instruments. These are called Adson with teeth. You see? These are called Adson Browns. You can see they have really tiny teeth in there, but you can't tell from this angle. This is Adson No Teeth. This is um, Smooth Forcep. This is Forceps with Teeth. Okay. Let's move on here. These are Army Navy. These are Sharp Sense Retractor. These are your knife handles. A 10 and a 15 can go in there. These are towel clips. These are used um, some in orthopedic or when to clamp towels for when they drape. These are rakes, sharp rakes. These are mainly used in orthopedic, like total knee arthroplasty. These are called sharp wheat laners, sharp and dull. So when you're giving these out to a surgeon, if you ask for a wheat laner, make sure that you ask, you want sharp or dull. You have these cute little divers. And you have silver ruler. These are single hook, skin hook, and these are double hook, skin hook. Okay, let's go over the stringer. This is what it looks like. Obviously, it's not sterile, but I wanted to show you guys what the plastic tray looks like. I'm just gonna go over it quickly. These are one, two, three, four Krauss, one, two, three, four Hemostat, one, two Kelly, one, two, three, four Alice, two tonsil, one, two, three, four Cokers, one, two right angles, needle drivers, one, two, three. Scissors, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So obviously, like, they have a name. These are iris scissors. This is a medicine bombs. Um, what is it? I can't even tell from the angle. Okay, straight mayo, curved mayo and more tenotomy scissors oh why did they put a driver here this is supposed to be in here but anyways okay so these are little tiny cryos these are for like for bleeders you use those for bleeders and then hemostats Hemostat could also be used for bleeders, but mostly um, they're used for suture retention. Kelly's are for when you ligate sometimes. Um, they use them for abdominal um, procedures, but the ones that we kind of use are longer because you're deeper in the belly. Alice's are good for retracting, for holding tissues. Mm -hmm. For also, we use them a lot in um, colorectal procedures. These are tonsils. These are used either in general surgery or colorectal. Cokers are very useful in all abdominal surgeries and for orthopedic as well for holding fascia because they have like this teeth like it's hard to focus guys I'm sorry they have like this teeth and it grips 
Okay, and then this are right angle. You use them in vascular surgeries and abdominal surgeries. This is like when you pass through like a, not a needle, but, um, oh my gosh, I am having a brain fart. It's like ties. Okay, ties. You use them for ties. And then drivers, of course, and obviously every time you go deeper, you go longer. You go more superficial, you go shorter. These are iris scissors. These are more for delicate areas. I'm so sorry about the noise. Um, obviously, uh, meds and bombs for superficial stuff. And you have your mayo scissors, your straight scissors for um, cutting just the sutures. This is for cutting either fascia or um, dissection. Same thing with that. It looks like they have two. And again, for superficial stuff, superficial suturing, and this is for bandage scissors. You do not use this for anything else but bandage. Okay, that is the stringer, right? And this is your, mostly your retractors. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. See you next video. Bye.